your like, Vada Fly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the John Road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy, y'all the game. Time has Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vada Fly. We used to rap it like that. It's pros and it's cons, I kick it with cons The nigga that's hoping that they get a bond And we got a bond above and beyond Come sit at the table and eat with the dons We slide no niggas as soon as it's done Checking you niggas like fuck as you want I'm coming like Neo, you know I'm the one Call you a bitch cause your hair in the bun Huh, I smoke like a... You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, RiceGangClothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Salute to every single one of y'all out there. Y'all good? Y'all good? Okay, we good. Let's keep it moving. So... K-Shine versus Chilla Jones goes down and you know battle rap fans, media, everybody has their own way of taking things and, and going about it you know what I mean there are a lot of people who feel like Chilla Jones won this battle definitively 3-0 some are saying body bag this that and the third and then you have a few that feel like Shine might have got around some people feel like Shine won so while I don't feel that way I think that what we need to do is take, I take a step back to take a step forward. You know what I'm saying? Ah, 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 take a step back. Um, I watched it again. Bootleg gang on bang, 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 bang. Um, I will say this. I do feel like Chilla Jones won. Chilla Jones had Shine. He had him before the battle even started. Because when you see K Shine saying things like, you gonna beat me? You gonna beat me? You gonna bet me? Bet, bet 3 0. You gonna 3 0 me? Like he was really hyped and agitated. And Chilla Jones was trying to explain to him that I'm none of the people that you battled before. I am not them. I've seen face offs. I've seen respect for what people say, you know, you're gonna do your thing. I'm gonna do my thing. Whoop de whoop. But I, then I've seen people with the anger, like, you gonna 3 0 me? And he gets up and he walks away. Which is, you know, people have the right to do what they feel like doing, but you gotta understand. I've said this about Chilla Jones. You have to realize that he's been doing this for a long time, and in this COVID small room, few people, he's going to be very hard to beat. If you look at his resume of who he's battled from, uh, he had Rum Nitty in one of them joints, he had Twerk in a smaller room, uh, he just had Shine in one. Uh, he had real sick in one like he's had like a bunch of names and He's arguably got no losses in all of those battles. He's arguably have no losses debatable here and there You know what I'm saying debatable ain't bad, but he's he ain't got smoked in one of them yet And it's probably not gonna happen because the way it's set up and even him versus B dot It's not it was on Sesame Street, but it's still a small <laughs> It was, I hated that shit. I fucking hated that shit. With the vest on. I hated that. But the nigga says, you know, he told Sean, oh man, you talking about my vest and this shit. I put the tech to your lips. My expert opinion, I leave my knowledge next to your, oh my lot. Leave my, leave your knowledge next to your fit. Leave that nigga chilla alone. And I tweeted yesterday, um, Watch Chilla Jones versus Cortez, then watch him versus Chime. And if you don't respect and him versus Chilla, him versus Cortez is on Born Legacy 2. You watch him versus Shine yesterday. If you don't respect his rise, his ascension from leaving URL, going to King of the Dot, getting their chain, coming back, and everything that he's done, your whole perspective is whack. Like you don't have to like an MC. You don't like personally, you don't have to really like like I'm a fan of this person, I'm not a fan of that person. You don't have to be a super fan of somebody to respect what they're doing. Now I fuck with Chilla Jones, I like what he's doing. I think he's been um, doing, doing great. I think he's had the best year out of anyone. But with that being said, you have to be able to look at things from an analytical perspective because us as humans, we're quick to be like, oh, this is trendy. Oh, this is, this is what's popping right now. But you gotta realize, Chilla Jones been doing this shit for a long ass time, since way back in Jonah's days. I seen people saying that, yo, Chilla Jones and, um, and Daylight should battle. Some forgot when I chase a nigga, glass break a nigga, get the fist open hand of the deuce, rock, paper, scissors, they forgot that these niggas already battled. Niggas was literally hitting me like, yo, I think Chilla should get Daylight next. And then when you tell them, 
Dog, they battled already. Oh, they should rematch. For what? Like, I mean, okay, I can see it, but for what? No, you didn't know that they battled already because Chilla Jones has been doing this that long. Some people did not know, others didn't know. Now, on the other side of the coin, Kayshawn. Kayshawn had arguably one of the greatest runs that we will ever see in battle rap. Like, his run was from the Hitman battle till now. Like, almost a three, four year consistent run of wins or e or debatables or wins and debate like he had a clear consistent run where nobody could tell him this person beat you this person you lost to this person if the polls went up they'd be 90 10 like this is the first time he's had to deal with this kind of adversity in a while and for someone who's always used to winning to be on the other side of the coin it's a little different, but I do respect the fact that Kayshawn did go on his own YouTube channel with Chilla Jones and they spoke about the battle and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? He basically told Chilla Jones to take your win. Like, if you feel like you won, take your win. You know what I mean, like, it is what it is. Like, I, I, I'm going to bounce back. And I think he will bounce back. Shine will bounce back from this battle because it's not over yet. It's not over for him. Not by the slightest bit is it over, but... I think that he needs to realize that in these small rooms, like certain people are not meant for these small rooms. He is though. He did great versus Chess. He did great um, in versus E Heart, shut her down, uh, and a lot of other joints that he's had in this small room COVID era. But a nigga like Chilla Jones, he's almost at a duckable level. He's really literally like right around the corner from fuck it, I'll just battle this nigga once. Somebody gotta chip him first. If I'm a battle rapper, you got. I'm gonna be strategic. Once somebody chips this nigga, it makes it makes it like, all right, cool. We know his weakness. Then I battle him. But I'm not battling first. No, hell, no, 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 no. Call it what you want. Especially if I'm on a higher tier. I'm gonna just pay disregard him because he's too good right now. The way he rebuttaled that, whew, I let it fire on you. It's real convenient. He's comfortable with niggas putting. Up. Oh my God. Caffeine set my nigga shine up, dog. Caffeine, you set shine up, bro. <laughs> the fire on, the wire on you? <whistles> Oof, that was nasty. They gotta do some kind of sound check and some shit before the battle happened. You can't be getting me caught up with the rebuttal with the wire on me, nigga. God damn. But, I think shine, like I said, shine gonna be all right. He will be straight, but, He's gotta like get back in his bag. He's gotta he's gotta change it up a little bit. DNA changed it up a lot, and this nigga is whooping ass right now. That's the thing. Once you reinvent your shit and take it to new new levels and new heights, new levels, new devils. Just gotta tweak it a little bit. You know, he had moments in his second round and in his third round where he was he tweaked it. A, he, he had the power that the, the, the divine power, the power, the power, the power. I like that shit. I like it, but you can't with the big grip, the stick shift, hit shit like that's cool, but it's only gonna go so far when you're battling against somebody who's lyrically able to down talk all your accomplishments, break down shit, freestyle, epic lines, have dope moments. It's gonna be hard to beat them. It, it will be hard. That's why Daylight was like, I'm never battling him. Like he kind of like shut it down. And Lastly about this battle, it didn't even have to happen. Like this wasn't, this battle was not even necessary. If he didn't take this battle, nobody would have thought no different. Like, if he would have not took, if he would have not took Chilla Jones, nobody would have thought different. People would have just been pressing for him versus uh, Daylight. But now that's kind of like up in the air. But uh, I say this, and the reason why I'm saying this is because I know I got a voice that a lot of people listen to. I don't think that everybody should jump out the window on K-Shine yet. He's definitely had a phenomenal run that a lot of people are never going to have. And I think that in his next joint, he's going to be back on his shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he just got to just gotta jump back on in the game. And, uh, you know, there's no good athlete, LeBron, Mike, Tom Brady, that hasn't lost. Everybody's like, you're going to lose, you know what I'm saying? But it's all about 
what you do with that and where you go from that. And I think he's going to be straight. But other than that, y'all let me know. Comments are there. Let's keep it fair. Yeah. It's pros and it's cons. I kick it with cons. The nigga that's hoping that they get a bond. And we got a bond above and beyond. Come sit at the table and eat with the dons. We slide no niggas as soon as it's done. Checking you niggas like fuckers you want. I'm coming like Neo. You know I'm the one. Call you a bitch cause your hair in the bun. Huh? I smoke like a roster. If this was a league, you would make the roster. Niggas and pastas running your casa. Addicted to money. I think I need sponsors. Fucker then leave when she called me a monster. So animated. These niggas go.